Hello, hello. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Hello, Mariano. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm very good. Very good. Yes. And welcome to the class, Mariano. Thank you, teacher. OK. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very good. I'm doing well, yes. I in the morning I didn't work, so I I was free in the morning, so I, um I'm okay, okay now. Okay. I have a lot of energy for the class. <laughs> How do you say the video in English? Uh, I invite you. I invite you. <laughs> I invite you. <laughs> yeah, well, but here we are, right? Okay, let's start today is just to work with the platform. Uh, Let's make an introduction. Just give me a second. Um, okay. Um, Leticia is connecting late, I guess. Okay, good. Hey, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hi. What's it going? Everything is fine? Yes, I'm fine. That's Thank you. Doing fine. Okay, good. So now let's start with the presentation. The presentation we're going to discuss only, right? Some topic, right? So midterm review and practice. We're going to review some topics, some ideas that uh, can be difficult for you, right? And we're going to discuss a topic. Uh, remember yesterday, I promised that today we're going to learn something about manner, right? Manners. So this is the topic for today, manners, right? And let's start with Mariano, please. Um, what do you think are good manners? What is that, good manners? Yeah. Good manners is, or it's, uh... It's important to have a good manners. It's important to a good uh, convivio, como se dice? Uh, to live with convivence. To live, to live with people, huh? To live with people, yes. Uh -huh. Or to interact with people. To interact uh, with people. Yeah. Good, nice. And, and can you give me one example of a good manner? Uh, to to give a saludar to greet to greet uh, uh -huh. greet to, to greet okay so a great of, of good manner right uh, is, good models thank you oh yes it's a it's a good example thank you very much okay um uh, now please uh, Vanessa can you give me more example of good manners? Uh, 
to say thanks or when you receive something. Okay. Thank people, thank people when when they make you favors, right? Mm -hmm. Good example. And one example of bad manners, the opposite. Don't greet the people when you enter to a room. Oh yes, not greeting people. <laughs> not, not greeting yeah. people is not it's a bad man, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And Oscar, can you give us another example of a bad manner? The finger, get out. <laughs> Showing the finger, the middle finger, right? <laughs> okay, yes. I totally agree. Yes. Very good. Teacher, when when someone are talking. And secretly, I don't know who do they cheat. Uh-huh, in she, secret. She, yeah. Cheating, cheating. No, no, cheating is something else, but uh, also what I guess cheating? it's a bad manner, right? What is cheating? Cheating is, um, well, there are three contexts of cheating. Context number one, when you are in a test and you're watching the answers of the of your class, yeah. that's yeah, cheating, right? cheating. <laughs> or when you are in a, in a supermarket, and you get a candy for free or, or some seeds, you know, semillas or some grapes, you know, okay. Or some people drink some juice. Uh -huh. This is bad manners or not? <laughs> it could be. Cheating is a bad manner, of course. <laughs> and finally, the third meaning is when uh, one woman is with two men or the opposite, two men, you no, know, one man with two women, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and cheating, right, you know? Okay, but this is related to more, more of all is education, right? Education. Okay. Uh, can you can you think in um, the vocabulary teacher when you when when do you talk him? Sorry, repeat. Vanessa, I didn't listen to you. Vanessa, I. Okay, I believe your internet is slow in this moment, Vanessa. Let's, let's just give a second. Okay, ready? No, your internet is not working well, eh, Vanessa. Later, later you can you can ask me later, right? Okay, Rosibel, can you think? of some good manners that are bad manners in another country? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hi. Welcome, Rosibel. Thank you. Uh, good manner is, is, is like to buenas, buenos maneras. Or uh -huh, how, that's how, it. How does it mean? Yeah, did you oh, okay. Can you think? Uh -huh. When you yes. behave, when you uh, yeah. behave uh -huh, in the school, in um, in a class, for example, right? In a, in a class, in a, mm -hmm. with your family, on the table, mm -hmm. with, with public in general, right? When you are educated, when you say hello, when you think, when you eat appropriately, when you don't yeah. make noise, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So, uh, do you know any good manner that is considered bad manner in other countries? I can, yes. Give me one example. Yes. Um, it's, 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 for example, uh, I'm not sure, but I, I remember uh, some a uh, long time ago, someone uh, told, told me about the, the, the manners in another country is, is totally um, different. For example, uh, totally different. For example, in, in Guatemala, I guess, mm -hmm. is uh, some people uh, ch uh, call chucho in Guatemala, I think. Uh -huh. And the name, call, the name can call, can, 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 call, can I call name chucho? Uh -huh. uh, but in, in El Salvador, Chucho is, is, is a dog, right? Is, is a dog, but uh -huh. in Guatemala, okay. it's a name. It's a name. 
It's uh -huh, a new it name. Is. Oh, uh -huh. it's new for me. I know that yeah, in Mexico, yeah. in Mexico, Chucho is, is a person too, but I didn't know that in Guatemala also, Chucho is a person. I don't remember, <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember Guatemala or Mexico, but in some country is uh, different a name. Uh, meaning. Uh -huh. Ah, nice, nice. And uh, other, uh, yes, tell me. Uh, uh, for example, is in El Salvador, is a, the children is, is uh, nosotros, uh, bichos. Bichos, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in all countries, it's, it's uh, offense. It's offensive, you're right. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, you say hello to a, a boy, to a kid, right? Hey, bicho, mira. Okay, so it's. Buenos mm días, -hmm. bicho. Okay, no, it's not. Not appropriate in other country, right? Other thing that I don't know if you heard that in some countries, especially in Arabia, right, is good manner when you burp, eruptar, you know. Oh, you know. So it's it's considered good manner. But in El Salvador, ah. it's the opposite, right? No, so, oh, it's, it's, it's the same. Ah, it's the same in El Salvador. Yeah. Rosibel, come on. <laughs> when you burp, you know, but uh, eruptar. When you're eating and you, oh, okay. So in El Salvador, people don't like it, but in Arabia, it's considered good manner. It's considered good manner, right? Because you are showing that the food is good for you, right? So this is this is uh, one uh, one example. There, there are many examples, right? But let's continue with the topic. Uh, let me see. Hello, Carlesa, uh, Carla, sorry, Carla Vanessa, sorry. Hello, welcome. Hi, welcome. <laughs> okay. And Vanessa Noemi, now your, your internet is okay? Yes, okay. You were making a commentary, Vanessa. Can you continue? I interrupt you, so please. Yes, um, you, you forgot. <laughs> you forgot what you were saying. I would. I don't know other bad manner is when someone is talking with uh, bad vocabulary. Oh, of course. With swear words. Swear words. S W E A R D. Swear. Swear words. It's malas palabras, right? Swear words. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, it's a bad manner. Of course, it's a bad manner, right? Good. Um, and let me see, what are the titles of some books? Mm, no, 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 this question is, nah. What are some good manner for using a cell phone? Okay, uh, Aminda, welcome, Aminda. Can you tell me some good manners? Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you tell me some good manners when you're using your cell phone, Aminda? The good manners. Uh, maybe uh, begin the conversation with uh, good morning or uh -huh. I don't know, maybe, or maybe introduce with the person. Uh -huh, when correct. it's at the first time you're, you're calling uh-huh, yeah. good, good example, right? Good example. And uh, Carla Vanessa, can you tell me what are other good manners when you're using your cell phone? Uh, uh, I think that a good manner is always end the conversation. Okay, yes. Not let the person see. Continue talking, right? <laughs> Okay, like you say in Spanish, they are visto, right? <laughs> when you got the person continue talking and you, you don't say goodbye. <laughs> talking yeah, or, right. or, or, or texting. Texting, yes, of course. Well, well, when you're texting, also we can use good manner, right? The first thing, you know, for me, I have this problem, right? That sometimes uh, I receive some messages and they say, teacher, mire, tal cosa, teacher, and then I say, Sorry, who are you? You know, I have a lot of students, right? And then 
in the morning, for example, I have 300 students, right? And then, uh, what well, the example is they ask me, right? Teacher, can not attend when they <laughs> listen. First of all, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, and so so it's better. It's, it's good to identify yourself, right? And to to say hello, to say goodbye, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Good, nice. So let's go to the other one. What are some good table manners? Table man, when you're eating, when you're with your family, with your friends, what are some good table manners? Let me see. Um, Rosibel, are you there? Okay, I, I guess she has some trolls with the internet, right? Uh, Domingo, please. What are some good manners when you're eating, when you're at the table? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Some good, good manners. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 I don't know uh, self, uh, the uh, cell phone. Don't use the cell phone. Good, uh -huh. excellent, good example. Totally uh -huh. agree, Domingo. Yes, totally agree. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yes, sorry, sorry, continue, Domingo. Excuse me, excuse me, continue. Uh, to speak aloud. Sí. Speak aloud. Uh, speak, speak aloud. aloud. Uh -huh. You're in front of the person eating it. Hey, mira vos. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not correct to speak aloud, right? Thank you, Domingo. Good ideas, good ideas. Uh, Aminda, more examples of good table manners do you understand the question aminda yes okay uh, well ah carlos welcome carlos hello, hello. Carlos, uh, you were the one who sent the, the message in the group that you had some problems with the platform, right? Yes. I'm oh, good. So tonight, tonight. Sorry, yesterday <laughs> I forgot. Excuse me. But today we're going to make it. Okay. Okay. After this practice, we're going to make it. Uh, Carlos, what yes. do you consider are some good table manners? <laughs> Um, it with mouth closed. Oh, okay, good. It's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is last and and don't don't use the cell phone. Uh huh. Like Domingo said, right? Don't use the cell phone when you are yeah. eating. Yes. Yes. It, it, for me, it offends me when someone is using the cell phone because. This is a short time we have when you're in a restaurant, when you're in your house, right? It's, it's a special moment, yeah. So if you're using your cell phone, come on, it's, it's offensive, it's bad, man, right? And yes. like you say, when you make noise, right? When you open your, your mouth and, and yes. people can see what you're eating, right? They can yes. see the, the frijolitos or the, the rice <laughs> in your mouth, right? <laughs> Yeah, come on, this is not good. Okay, good. Uh, I will take the attendance and then I will continue with this. Uh, Trini? Aminda? Present. Ah, good, thank you, Trini. Good. Uh, Trini, no la veo en la cámara, Trini. Le está funcionando. Trini? Hello, hello. Estoy. Sorry, tienen, eh, es que el problema es que cuando encendemos la cámara eh, a veces afecta al internet, ¿no? Entonces, ahí la veo, Trini, ahí estamos. Ok, welcome. Okay. <laughs> welcome. Ok, now, eh, Aminda. Present. Good. Ana María. Present, teacher. Me voy incorporando, perdón. Ah, good, no problem. Welcome, Ana María. Ana María, we're going to stay the 10 minutes. Se va a quedar los 10 minutos después de la clase, Ana María. 
Yes, teacher. Yes, good, good. Thank you. Aquí la vamos a agendar. Miss Palacios Araujo. Okay, thank you. Good. Let's continue. Uh, Carlos? Yes. Good. Claudia Guadalupe me dijo que tenía problemas con internet, pero si no, mándeme el mensaje, Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo? Present. Good. Eh, Ever? Oh, here. Present, Mr. Good. Welcome. Ah, good. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ever. And Jose Roberto? Present, teacher. Good. Welcome, Jose Roberto. Nice. Eh, Carla Benazir. Si está de oyente, me manda el mensaje, Carla Benazir. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Eh, Laisley. Laisley ya no se conectó. Ok, good. Leticia. Present. Good. Teacher. Welcome, Leticia. Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Oscar. Present. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Sonia Ivet. Present teacher. Welcome. Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa. Okay, le voy a poner asistencia. Present. Oh, good, good, good. That's it. Walter. Present. That's okay. That's okay. I put it in. Uh, Walter. Present. Good. Welcome, Walter. Wendy. Present. Good. Welcome. Vicky. No está tampoco Vicky. Bueno. Okay. Um, eh, Chamba. Debbie. Present. Good. Jorge Alfredo. Jorge. Okay, good. Let's continue with the discussion, right? I have more students. I like it, right? I only have three miss tonight, right? So, uh, let me see. Debbie, please. Debbie, uh, we're talking about good manners and bad manners, of course, right? And we have this question, uh, Debbie. Which one? Just give me a second. Give me a second. Uh -huh. What are some party manners? When you're in a party, how can you behave uh, in a good way? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, you have to behave in a good way in a party, right? For example, uh, saying mean words or profane words. Right? Especially if, if the party is for children, imagine you. <laughs> or listen, another, listen, a bad man could be listen to Bad Bunny, right? <laughs> if someone is listening to a body in my party, it's like, Go away. <laughs> okay. Now, um, let me see. Uh, Wendy, do you consider that kissing in public is a good manner? Um, when I say kiss, it's romantic. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, it depends on the kiss. <laughs> because if it's a very strong is maybe it's not a good manner uh, do that in public yes if but it if is a, a least... little kiss it's okay, oh, okay. i don't know <laughs> i understand what I you mean right the... if you say hello yeah. to your boyfriend right and you kiss your boyfriend that's okay right yeah but if, if it is a deep extremely long romantic kiss <laughs> So maybe it is it's not a good manner for not me. a good manner, right? <laughs> especially because when, when there are children, right? They're watching. You know? Yeah. Or especially. Yeah, that is my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I agree. Yes, I totally agree, right? 
Okay. Let me see. Um, Walter, do you say hi? Do you say hello to people, even if they are strangers? Uh, it's a stranger. Hello. It's uh, knowing people. I say hi. More sure. Okay. Um, I will explain this, right? I will explain this, the, the, that's what I do in the morning, for example, even in the morning, because there are a few people walking on the street, right? I always say, good morning, hello, hi, even if it's a stranger. Uh, but imagine you're walking on the street, there are a lot of people, you cannot say, hi, 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 hello, hey, hey. Everybody's going to say you're crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what about you, Walter? Do you say hello at night or, or early in the morning, even the person is a stranger? Uh, see, if the person is a, is a stranger, I say hello because it's more, more polite. Okay, good. Yeah, but do you understand the context, right? Yes. Okay, good. It's, it's, about, it's about greetings. Okay, yes. And in the country, in the country, everybody says hi, okay? I don't know who of you live in the country. In La Unión, San Miguel, Santa Ana, right? When, when, when you're in the country, in a town, for example, you're, for example, I don't know, Cotepeque, Cujucuyo, Sensuntepeque, I don't know. But I see that people are more educated. People have better good manner, right? And they always say, good morning, goodbye. Yes, it's, it's more common in, 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 in the country than in the city, right? Good. And I have a commentary. I, will, I won't say, I won't say the name. <laughs> but uh, from the previous question, I have a, a, a commentary, right? That kissing in public is, is okay. But if you don't give a, a French kiss, <laughs> okay, I like that. Good. Let, let's go to the next question, right? Um, Vanessa, only, only the Italian. Only, <laughs> only the, <laughs> the Italian people. Kiss the Italian the, people. Kiss. No, in, in other countries, I guess it's, it's more common, right? That people are more, you know, open, right? But even though I don't know. Especially if the if the people are you know old, you know. Yes, here, it, here is more is more weird. It's more bizarre. I don't know how to say it, right. Well, anyway, let's continue with the next one, right? Uh, Vanessa Noemi, uh, do you listen to other people' conversation on the street, um... or in uh, in the office, or in or in your neighborhood? If the people talk loud, <laughs> ni modo. <laughs> anyway, right? Anyway. anyway. Yes. By the way, how do you say anyway in Spanish? Anyway in Spanish. How do you say anyway? De cualquier manera, como sea. No, no. No. Anyway in Spanish is cualquier mexicano, right? Ah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, good. Other thing that it, today is very common. Let me see. This is for for Sonia Ibet. Uh, something that is very common is that when you are in the bus on the micro bus, right, and no mini van, sorry, mini van, uh, people are talking on the cell phone, right? And you are watching the cell phone. <laughs> Do you consider that is a good manner, Sonia Ibet? Ibet? Okay, so Sibel, do you consider it a good manner watching the conversation of a person in the cell phone? Yeah. Yes. It's a bad, it's a bad, ah, bad, bad, bad manner. <laughs> Why? I thought you would say it's, it's a, a good manner. manner. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's, yeah, I no, understand, it's, yes. It's, mm -hmm. uh, and, and maybe last time I, I heard about a meme, right, that it's a, a 
eh, Carlos, quien sea que sea, es que se, no, no, Carlos, no, I will say another name, Fermín, Ray. Right? Fermín, whoever you are, Ray, right? quien sea que seas, te comento que tu novia se va con otro muchacho y me presenta. And then because you're watching what other people are talking on the cell phone, you know? Okay, good. Now, uh, Rosemary, no. Yes, Rosemary is not here. Uh, Oscar, please, Oscar. Uh, do you think it is good manner to hug or kiss another person when you're greeting? Depends. Uh, maybe the family. Uh -huh. I got it. Okay. So it's a good manner, right? It's, it's with, 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 with my wife, with, when a boys, uh, I thinking. Okay. What happened? Ah, oh, I understand. <laughs> yes, they will happen here, right? Yes, uh, Latin people, we Latin people, uh, it's very common that we hold people and that we kiss people, right? But in other countries, it's considered offensive. For example, in France, it's a bad manner, you know, to hold a stranger, for example, right? Yeah, okay, good. The last question, and then we're going to start with the, with the platform, right? Uh, Mariano, please, do you let people pass when you're driving in your car? Uh, do you let people pass you? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. How do yes. you, Mariano, how do you indicate the person that she can, or, or he can pass in front of you? Uh, turn on the light. Uh -huh, okay. And with hand. <laughs> uh, me too. Yes, waving, you know. But uh, yes. it's better that you, when... you put your hands out of the of the car, right? You know, say, come on. Yes. 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 Or turn on the light. Okay, good. That's it, right? But uh, when the car uh, uh, passed, when do you have the pass? Mm -hmm. You <laughs> you say, oh, oh touch the the klaxon. Ah, I don't know, honk, honk, <laughs> honk. Dale, the, you know, honk. When you honk, it's right. like beep, 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 beep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sometimes it happens with other car, right? But when people pass in front of you, it's I guess it's considered yes. good manner, right? Right. Yes. Because everybody is driving. The person that uh, is driving someday or in some in a specific moment is going to be a pedestrian too, right? And of course, you need somebody to let you pass, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. So those are good manners, right? And I'm, I'm sure you know more about this. Tomorrow we are going to continue talking about this other context, other situation that you use good manners or sometimes bad manner, right? So let's see. We're going to talk tomorrow, right? Uh, for the moment, I will remind you, but this is the objective for today, the same of yesterday, right? The, this vocabulary, right? No, no, this vocabulary is related with, no, I made a mistake. I, I, wa I wanted to show you the four P's. Quería enseñarle lo de los cuatro pesos. Sorry, I made a mistake here. But anyway, you, you know, right? So let's go immediately to the, to the platform. I want to share with you. Okay, guys. So uh, here we are in section two, unit two, marketing, five questions, that's right? So we're going to do something, right? Listen, you can copy the ideas, not the answer because, sorry, guys, I won't give you the answers. As I told Aminda, right? That is cheating, right, Aminda? <laughs> when the teacher give you the answer. <laughs> okay, so I won't cheat. No, I'm not a cheater. So I'm going to give you hints, ideas, et cetera, et cetera, how to make and how to work. So we are going to make the two, the unit two marketing marketing, and the midterm, right? And let's just start with the, the unit two. So you can copy, you can make, you can take notes or you can open the platform in another window of your computer 
and you can work together with me, right? You can uh, give the answers in the platform for, for together with me, right? Okay, let me see. This is 2.2, right? It says, instruction, match the descriptions to the four Ps. So, um, Walter, do you remember what are the four Ps? Yes, in order, in order, please, in order, if you remember. Product. Uh-huh. Uh, the next is price. Price. Place and promotion. And promotion. Those are the four Ps, right? And then he will have the, the meaning. They are not in order. The four piece in this context are not in order, right? So what you're going to do is to, to put the name of the P, right? Here, I cannot tell you the answer because it's, you know the answer, right? And in the number five, you are going to put the four piece, but in order. Walter told you <laughs> the order, right? You know, So you're going to put this here in order, the four piece, okay? Uh, good. Now, and then, teacher. Any question? Yes, tell me. Using step, separate in the commas. number five. Okay. You are going to use using commas. Com mm -hmm. okay. Commas. Let me see. I want to check something here. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. You're going to use commas. And you can start with a capital letter or no capital letter. Capital letter or no capital letter. You see here, right? For example, you can start with a P, capital letter on oh, lower, sorry, lowercase letter or capital letter, right? And then you use a comma. I will, I will copy something, not the answer, right? Paleta, for example, right? Comma, right? Um, uh, propina. Space. Mm -hmm. Space, of course, after the comma, space, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you can finish with a, with a period, let's say, uh, a pera. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you, you put a period or no period. Okay. Yes? Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. I, I imagine some of you finish this, right? Most of you finish. Here, uh, you're going to Give me an example of when do you use inventory, you know, inventario, inventario? Is something related with the product, the price, the place, or promotion? Here you just click one, right? Payment plans. When since the moment you say payment money, right? So you, you have the answer, right? For retail location. Locaciones de ventas al por mayor, al por menor, sorry. Retail location, right? And brand name, oh, come on, this is easy. Yeah. And finally, advertising, right? So you click one, and that's it, right? Any question for vocabulary in this part? Or instruction how to do something? I repeat here, the four Ps in disorder, right? According to the concept. In the second part, you just click one answer, right? Click this, 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 or this, right? One, only one. If you made a mistake, you can make it again, you know, it's, it's nice. It's a friendly platform, you know? Okay, 2.5. Look at the following products. So you can see Capelisto here, right? Let me, let me maximize it. Capelisto, I don't like it. It's kind of acid, you know? So here, right? So what is this? Number one, right? And what is this? Don't tell me. It's, a rhetorical question, right? <laughs> so what is this? Number two, right? Okay. Now it says, 
Number one is a product, price, place of promotion. It's related with the product, price, place of promotion. And number two, the same situation, right? Number two, product, price, or promotion. Then, yo delido no me olvido. Sucursal escalona. Okay, good. So number one, number one is, look, Yo delido, no me olvido. I like it, you know. Okay, and then it says number three, sucursal escalón. What is the meaning of this? Is related to the product, to the price, to the place, or the to or is related to the promotion? Good. Now let's go to the second part. Uh, instruction. Complete the following sentences choosing the options given, right? I will repeat this, it's, it's very, very easy. We were working with enough with adjectives and enough with nouns, right? So, uh, and it's simple, right? You are going to put, listen, when it's adjective, you're going to put enough before the adjective, right? Yeah, no, let me see. Uh, no, no, after, excuse me, excuse me. After the adjective, right? When it's an adjective. Good. And when, when it's a noun, you're going to put enough before the, the, the noun, right? Okay, let's say one, one example, right? Um, um, Estadio Cuscatlan is big enough to hold Salvadorian fans of the La Selecta, right? Okay? Is B enough. B is the adjective, and then we have enough. Now, if uh, we, you use now, for example, enough people, uh, there are enough people to, to fulfill the Cucatalan Stadium, you know? So people is a now, and then you have enough before. And then here is easy, come on. Three spaces, one, two, three, right? The phone is, and there are three words. Of course, you're going to eliminate the ones that are only two, right? Yeah. So the possibilities are the ones that who, are, who have three. Again, here we have two spaces, right? This is a question of logic. For example, it says to pay such such high price, such high price. Can uh, tan grande precio, right? And then in the second one, so that people can recognize them easily, right? For example, every time you see a spongy ball, a spongy ball, so you recognize the uh, spongy ball because of the color yellow, right? It's easy because, and what is in the case of the product, the thing or the situation that make recognize the, the product easily, right? Number three, again, two spaces, look. To help us counter our competitors release of their products, okay? Contrarrestar, you know, contrarrestar, counter, or competitors release of their product. So, mm -hmm. colorful enough, not hot enough, fast enough, attractive enough. Only one answer, right? Number four, they are to make us lose ground in the market, you know? Lose ground means uh, hacernos perder campo, o hacernos perder, uh, ¿qué? Eh, oportunidades de, de vender nuestro producto, right? You know, ground, ground. It, it, when you read this, it's perder tierra, right? Perder suelo, no? But it's related to the, to the space in, in the market, right? You know? 
Okay. They are. The other company are what? Colorful enough, not hot enough, fast enough, attractive enough, not fast enough. Again, you choose one that is, has two spaces, right? The coffee is what? To drink. What? That's it, right? Good. Any question about this section? Any word that you don't understand? No? Okay. Are you making it with me? Who's making it with me? ¿Quién lo está haciendo ahorita? To give time. Nobody? Okay, but don't forget to take notes. Don't forget to take notes. Si no lo están haciendo la parmilla, pues... No se les olvide tomar notas para cuando lo hagan solitos, ¿ok? Good. So let's continue with the next one. It says, do you know how to use enough correctly? Again, so we, we continue with the, with the use of enough, right? But in this case, it's just, it's better because it's 50-50, you know? Podemos usar un comodín, el 50-50. I remember this. Okay. So enough fast or fast enough? What is the correct one? You know, right? She is all enough, enough all to know better. Yes, mayorcita para saberlo mejor, you know. <laughs> okay. Number three. She was enough prudent or prudent enough to lock the car. Para ponerle llave el carro, right? Okay. He was stupid enough or enough stupid to trust her. Para confiar en ella. Trust her. It is enough warm or warm enough for you. Easy, right? Con la clave que le di al principio, aquí en todo. Congratulations, yes. Any question? No. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. Uh, Tell I me. don't understand this. Sorry. What is the difference? Number three. And, and, and number four. Number four. So the idea is, okay, I will repeat. I will give you the answer, but I will repeat. When, when you use uh, adjectives, when you use adjectives, remember adjectives is the, are the words that describe the characteristics of the people, places, animals, ideas, etc., etc., right? Adjectives. And nouns are, you know, objects, people, animals, etc., etc., right? So when you use adjectives, Lisa, this is the, the clue, right? Uh, first, you're going to use uh, the adjective, and then you're going to use the word enough, right? Then when you use nouns, right? You're going to use first enough and then the noun, right? And then uh, here we're taking, we're saying, right, that uh, la persona era lo suficientemente, perdón, se oye feo, pero así dice aquí, el, él, perdón, la persona, es un él, él era lo suficientemente estúpido, o, o no era lo suficientemente, eh, como dijéramos, inteligente, no en este caso, porque la palabra estúpido es lo contrario, ¿no? Para confiar, ah, no, no, excuse me, pues sí, yo me he confundido aquí, perdón. Es que él no era, es que como lo digo sin ofender, no era tan tonto, eh, digamos la palabra mejor, no era tan tonto para confiar en ella, si así es la cosa. No era tan tonto como para confiar en ella, ¿sí? Trust her. Hasta ahorita lo estamos entendiendo aquí. Entonces, so what are you going to do? 
the only thing you have to do is to choose this or this, right? Like you flip a coin, right? Como que tira una moneda y... <laughs> okay. So do you understand? Okay. No I think so. No, yes? Yes. Okay, good. So I will repeat the idea, right? No la había entendido bien porque no pensé que este era she, no, pero es he. Él no era tan tonto como para confiar en ella, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. In my opinion, this example is not inclusive. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's go to the next one. This is kind of more difficult, right? This part is kind of more difficult. Let me see. I want to check something here. 2.8, right? Okay. Label the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions. This, this is in page. Give me a second. I will tell you the page. Voy a decir que página aparece In your memos. So if you remember. The question here in page 21. Page 21. Right? This part is repeated in the in the test. So check it out, page 21, right? And then what is the question? If I say we build quality kitchen hardware, hardware. For residential kitchen customer, right? So what is the question? Only choose one, two, three, four, five. From the five questions, choose one, right? Good. Our customers are young North American families. So when you say a young North American families, what are you talking about? The distribution? the person you are selling to, the value or the value that you give to your customers, what are you selling or what is the price? They are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. So what is it? How will you distribute your product? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide? This is the Spanish is que valor le da usted a su cliente, el valor o la importancia que, que tienen los clientes para ustedes, right? Okay, good. And the next one, we sell our product through a retail channel. Retail is uh, ventas al por menor. Like, like in, a, in a little store, como la tienda de la esquina, you know, it's venta al por mayor, al por menor, sorry. <laughs> So what is this related? ¿Cómo va a distribuir su producto? ¿A quién se lo vende? ¿Qué valor le da a sus clientes? ¿Qué es lo que vende? ¿Y qué precio le va a dar a sus productos? So? Okay, and number five, our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end, you know, hardware solution. High-end is something expensive and good, right? Let's say, for example, Toyota, Mercedes-Benz, Sony, iPhone, you know. So those are high-end. Good. Any question? Good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. Take notes. Take notes. If you have questions, tell me, right? Tienen que sacar como mínimo 80%, pero yo espero que todos saquen un 100. Ok, revisé las notas sí, de la unidad 1 y la mayoría he sacado 100, lo felicito. Vamos a ver si la unidad 2 también sí. la hacemos también. Ok, sí, yes, questions? Sí, sí. Eh, de, de platform, eh, ¿cuántos selects son hardware incorrect? Uh -huh. We try again, and uh, what is, uh, is, is, es lo que en español. <laughs> it's another option. Yes, uh, you're right. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
yeah. after complete the all is 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 all covered. Correct. Yes, okay. You complete everything. And when you finish, you give mm -hmm. su submit, right? Submit. Uh -huh. And if you if have, for, have, for example, I'm, I'm number four is incorrect, you can correct again and go again to submit, right? No problem. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Good. So, as I say, right, this platform is friendly, right? Mm -hmm. Solo el que no se quiere okay. sacar 10, no se saca 10 aquí. It's easy. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. So, 2.11. 2.11. Are the following ideas good promotion strategies? So, we're talking about promotion, right? So, you only copy good or bad? Good or bad? Cling. Or and so branded promotional gift means um, regalito, you know, it's like the spatula. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo se llamaba el, el, la sartén que estaba vendiendo ayer? Multi, multifunction pan, right? <laughs> they give you a spatula. So it's, it's a promotion, a branded promotional gift. Por cierto, ya no me mandaron las presentaciones. Solo la del grupo 3 me mandaron el grupo de WhatsApp. Me dejaron esperando. Me puse triste. <laughs> okay. So, good or bad? Good or bad? Lack of social media promotion. Falta de. Sí, you know, your product is not, doesn't have social media promotion. So, is a good strategy or bad strategy? After sale customer, customer service, right? Service are like, a, a, like polls, you know, investigaciones. A, like, for example, you say, um, when you go to the bank, you know, and say, a, le voy a dar un link y me evalúa el servicio, you know, o me evalúa el producto. Or in Facebook, sometimes, you know, they say, can you... Grade or service, puede darle una nota a nuestro servicio, a nuestro producto. So, this is after sale customer service, right? Como encuesta de calidad, you know. Okay, so it's good strategy or bad strategy. And product giveaways and sample, right? Uh, this is free sample, right? Eh, que usted se puede llevar el producto gratis o le dan muestras del producto, you know. I see this, uh, for example, whiskey. They, they give you some small bottle, right? Le dan una botellita chiquita del whiskey, así. <laughs> okay. Y algunos ahí mismo se lo toman. <laughs> so those are samples, you know, samples. Or maybe in the supermarket, it is very common, for example, the, the cookies, um, joggers, cheese. Eh, churritos, etc. They give you sample, right? Le dan muestra o, o prueba, ¿no? Usted se puede llevar. Ok, so good strategy or bad strategy. Productos on sale already expired. Productos que ya expiraron. The most common is the milk, right? La leche vencida ahí. <laughs> good strategy or bad strategy, right? Aquí creo que este ejercicio es super fácil. Now, let's go to the next one, right? Complete the sentences using the information in parentheses, and and now. Aquí sí, esta parte me interesa porque Carlos tenía algunas preguntas ahí. Con el número tres, right? Okay, Carlos. Yes. Eh, la, lo que vi en su respuesta no, es que en el verbo me le había puesto una S. Two. Ajá, Trini, Trini. Number two. Number two, en la dos tiene problema, ok. Yes. Solo doy el Sale comentario de, de Carlos y nos vamos la de regreso. Sí, eh, you can do like this, right? Pueden poner la respuesta así, ¿ve? Retailers, lo pongo porque ahí está, ¿verdad? Retailers will. Y no voy a poner este verbo, voy a poner otro verbo, eh, digamos, eh, give, ¿no? Give. Entonces, eh, el verbo me lo puso así, Carlos, pero no me le, 
Eh, ah, no, perdón, me le puso una S al verbo, ¿sí? Entonces no hay que ponerle S, Carlos. Porque lleva el modo will. ¿Sí? Si le estamos poniendo el, el modo al will, no le vamos a poner S al verbo, ¿verdad? Uno de estos dos es el verbo, no le puedo decir cuál va, pero en público no le puedo decir cuál va. Pero ya se imagina usted cuál es el verbo ahí, pero usted me le agregó una S. Y acá en la 4, creo, porque no le alcancé a ver eh, que el verbo no me lo puso en, en pasado participio, que es de marketing department hasn't entonces, le voy a poner otro verbo para no darle la respuesta. Eh, participar, you know, participate, right? Pues, ¿cuál es el pasado participo de participar? Participated, right? Como es un verbo regular, so participated. Entonces, el verbo debe ir en pasado participio, past participle. No se lo alcancé a ver, Carlos, pero creo que por ahí puede estar el... El error, ¿verdad? Él lo intenta. Si quiere ahorita intentarlo, pues, y me avisa si le salió bien, ¿verdad? Ok, creo que las demás le habían salido bien, ¿va, Carlos? Solo vi que esas dos. Number two. Number two. La dos, ¿va? Igual Teacher. Trini tenía dudas en la dos. Ok. Dice, or products, aquí sí, miren. El verbo debe ir normal, ¿no? Or products. Ok. Tienen dos opciones. Pueden poner esta parte, all products, o solo pueden poner la respuesta, lo que va aquí, ¿no? No les puedo poner porque les voy a dar la respuesta, ¿no? Pero, este, tiene que ir el verbo, sin una S, sin nada, perdón. Y al final póngale un punto. No, no, no sale, no sale no. mal. Vale, lo voy a hacer. No, ya de mil maneras. En el chat le puse la, la, como lo habíamos escrito y sale mal. Vale, lo voy a hacer entonces. Pero que conste que si me regañan mis jefes, <ríe> son bromas. Vamos a hacerlo juntos porque puede ser alguna. Porque yo encontré dos errores ahí en la plataforma y ya las vamos a ver cuáles son, ¿verdad? En, en aras de eso, pues vamos a hacerlo juntos. Déjenme ver. Sería la número dos, ¿verdad? De or products. Sí, porque no, no, no sale de nada. Yo también ya lo intenté de mil maneras. Y no de mil sale. maneras. Uh, de, uh, Amy, Amy, de number two is incorrect nada más. De las otras tengo buenas. Ah, bueno, la dos. La dos es la que le sale mala, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque okay. or products offer. Mm -hmm. Or products offer. No. Ah, güey, un momento. Quiero ver el libro. Quiero ver el libro. ¿Por qué? El manual. Porque aquí hay También una palabra que, que no está ahí. ID. Déjeme ver. Déjeme ver. Regálame un segundito. Eh, mm -hmm. Yo me acuerdo de estaba esto. Eh, <risa> el número no. 23. 23. Ok, thank you. 23. Excelentoso, yes. Ok, um, or products offer, or products offer, offer it. Eh, no. Es que hay una palabra acá, vamos a ver, se la voy a dar porque así me lo, me lo tiró la, la plataforma, la palabra great. Ah. En el manual aparece, or products offer enough, solo enough. ¿Verdad? Pero aquí me aparece mm. esta palabra, great features en Bene. Great. En Bene, no, great. El enough no va. No. Va, permítame, quiero ver aquí. Voy a probar ahorita, vamos a ver. Si, si. Es que así aparece en la, en la, permítame, en la. Y el verbo. Offer como great. Tal, como ya es, ya, verbo ya salió offer. correcta. Así sí. como le dice el. El teacher ya salió correcto. Pero ah, son vaya. great. Entonces. Dándole... ¿Pero por qué? Yes. Ya yes, es correcto. Miren. Ya es correcto. No le vamos a dar vuelta al asunto. La palabra great. Como que el, el creador de la plataforma se le olvidó ponerlo a cabo. 
¿sí? Tendría que ir acá. No sé si alcanzan a ver. Uh -huh. yes. Aquí tendría que ir. Y no lleva en off. No sé por qué uh -huh. no lleva en off. Ah, no, a mí no me eh, sé ahí el de, detalle. The problem. Eh, okay, el verbo el, el offer is um, from us. I see the simple it. form. The verb is, uh -huh. uh, is the simple, Domingo. Simple form. Uh -huh. Over great. Simple form. Over yes. great. Yes. Pero, yes, teacher. Ya es correcto. Si le preguntan you. quién les dio la respuesta, no me va a decir el teacher, ¿eh? que no me van a quemar. <risa> no se preocupe, los otros teachers también nos han ayudado. Ah, oh, vaya, ok. Ay, deme deme el nombre, por favor, ¿quién le ayudó? <risa> ok. No, no this pero is an que la palabra... Es broma, es broma, es broma. Aquí que he grabado todo, no se preocupe. Pero ah, es, es broma, si este, sí, cuando hay alguna dificultad, ahí estoy a la, a la orden, no se preocupe, les puedo dar la respuesta. Ahora tengo... Sí, que ahí faltaba una chat. palabra. Solo faltaba ese, sí. Vaya, tengo una pregunta. Sí, Domingo, ah, aquí está, ve. Or products of Number three. Wait, give me a second. Solo termino con esta idea del dos. Or products offer enough features and then sí. No le salía bien, ¿verdad, Domingo? Sí. Yes. Escribió mm -hmm. en el chat. Va, muy bien. Entonces, mm -hmm. ¿todos estamos bien con la dos antes de regresar a la tres? Yes. Sí, sí. va, muy bien. Ya todas. Yes. Okay. ¿Y la tres? La tres. Vaya, la tres. Lo que pasa es que eh, yo estoy trabajando con lo que me envió Carlos. En el caso de Carlos, le había puesto así, ¿verdad? Retailers will. Perdón, Carlos, que use su ejemplo, pero para ilustrarlos a todos. Eh, no puedo poner el verbo porque le voy a dar la respuesta, pero le voy a poner otro verbo. Provide. Provide. Bueno. Ah. Y este, me le había puesto una S. Entonces no llevaba S, el verbo. No lleva S. Solo es el verbo pelón, ¿verdad? But, 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 but is, is will, the, it, after the will, verb. After the normal. will, we have the verb. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y normal. Normal. Yes. Don't say provide. Así como está. Solo agréguele no. ¿Ah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no me le estaba... Sí, you're cheating, me está dando la, la respuesta. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. ¿Y, y, 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 ¿Y the four? Number four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. The four is, like I say to, aquí sí no sé cómo le hizo Carlos, pero perdón, Carlos, que lo estés usando de ejemplo. Ok. Me va a sentir mal ahí. ¿no? This is I solve my problem with four sentence. Uh, ok. Is it, it's in the word has sent. Ajá, uh -huh, give me a second, give me a second, Carl. Department, department, sorry. Perdón, que tengo aquí un montón de libros. <laughs> okay, good. Ya me decís de eso. Okay, department, the marketing department hasn't, hasn't, right? Now, the next verb, no le voy a decir cuál es el verbo porque le estaría dando la respuesta, pero una de estas dos palabras es el verbo. Entonces, ese verbo me lo van a poner en pasado participio. Digamos la palabra invite. Uh -huh. No me lo van a poner invite, sino que invited. ¿Por qué? Porque los verbos regulares en pasado participio llevan una ed. ¿Sí? Prueben ahí, por favor. A Trini ya le dio, pero los que no le ha dado la cuatro. But, uh, one, uno, de, uno de los dos. Tiene que ser el verbo. Sí, es que no les puedo decir. Es obvio cuál es el verbo, pero no lo puedo dejar grabado aquí en la, en la clase. I do, I try to do. Please. Uh, of this form. Uh -huh. And the, and the system, that's, that's wrong. The mm -hmm. system is wrong. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, I will do it by myself. Entonces lo voy a hacer yo. Uh -huh. Lo voy a intentar hacer yo. Create an interest. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a hacerlo. Que conste que a mí me va a salir ahí. En... Vamos a ver. Ah, es que como but, no he hecho las otras, no me lo, no me lo acepta, no me lo acepta. Hasta the verb create enough interest. Uh, ah, es que ah ok. With... Yes, I'm sorry, qué oso, yes. Enough, sí, me faltó la palabra but, enough. Give me a second. But, but it's wrong. 
Or is wrong. Right? Aún así yeah. sale malo. Vamos yes. a ver. Si es que había yes. una que estaba... Eh, es teacher, excuse me. Eh, es que... Eh, no, de, de prosto, pero es que no, hay que copiarlo de arriba. Create it enough. Uh, ah, hats, es, es has to copy. Es copy hats y... y, y ¿huh? sí. Ok, give me a second. Lo voy a hacer como, como debería ser, ¿no? Sería así, mire. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Y con punto al final, ¿yes? ¿sí? Trini, así lo hizo usted, Trini. Yo sí, pero no me funciona. No le funciona. Uy. Solo le puse la cuatro. Created, created enough interest. Así. Solo yes, eso. but, but Sin listen. Punto. Yes, but listen. Sin eh, the, Sin, the, Sin hacen y todo. Solo así. Ok. Solo created enough interest. Ah, ok. Vamos a hacerlo así entonces. Vamos a ver. Entonces, yes, but listen, listen, listen to, uh, to Domingo say. Yes, copy, with copy, the apostrophe. Copy the negative or the, the verb of, of have. Ajá, uh -huh. so hasn't. Hasn't, sí, yes, hasn't. yes, copy. Uh, it's copy. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and because paste. You, 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 you write in the word, yes. it's not accept the platform. Like, yes. Something like this? Maybe no, the apostrophe No, hasn't, hasn't. Only the uh -huh. hasn't. Only uh, hasn't. Only hasn't. Copy. Copy and, and paste. paste. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, function. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It Only works. That, that was the problem. How do you know this? <laughs> ¿Cómo se pueden entonces? ¿Cómo se pueden todos estos trucos? Ni yo me los puedo. Okay. Por el apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. yes. Depende del tipo de teclado. Y hay que dar seguro teclado. también. Ay, que algunos me le ponen acento. Es sí, yes. me olvidó el truquito. Es que algunos le ponen acento en lugar de ponerle el apóstrofe. Sí, en, en mi tablero, por ejemplo, el apóstrofe está después del cero. Tengo una HP, tengo una DEL, que es mía, ¿no? se llama DEL. Eh, y en ambas, después del cero, it, it está is, el apóstrofe. Uh, it is a acento, es. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 Create no interest. Hasn't created. Aquí me falta create, ¿verdad? Create, ajá. Uh -huh. point at the, at the end. Ah, with Sin period. Hasn't. Period, mm -hmm. ok. Ajá, period. Cien puntos. Okay, so. Cien puntos hasn't created enough interest. No, yo, yo le puse sin hasn't, solo created enough. Ah, es que da, creo que da de ambas formas. Ah, ok. Pero yo creo que ustedes están haciendo un truquito para que yo les dé la respuesta, ¿eh? Pero sin punto. <risa> ok. Prueben con ambos, con o sin punto, ¿verdad? Algunos les dio con y otros sin. Yo le puse punto. Ok, good. That's it, right? Thank you, Now, Any other? Do you have any problem with another item? Number five, it's okay? It's okay. Yes. Uh, Carlos, did you try, Carlos? Is, is correct? I solved my problem. Uh -huh, but did you try in the platform or, or not? Not yet. I tried the platform. Platform. You are not in the platform, not yet. Yes. Okay, I... so but my question is, is correct, yes or no, Carlos? Yes. Oh, good. Good. And Trini, it's okay. Everything is okay, right? Todas, okay, good. So you have a 10. Okay. Domingo, everything is correct with you? Yes. Yes. yes good. Correct. Anybody else? Good. Let's continue. Let's problem with the en la one. otra tengo problema. <laughs> okay. Which one? In 2.14. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. So, vamos a ir despacio. So, 
This is easy, right? Aquí sí creo que no tienen problemas. How much does your product cost? Mm -hmm. Product, price, place, or promotion. Ese, hasta dormido se pueden los conceptos, ¿verdad? Detail. What does your product do? Where would you say mm -hmm. your product? How would you advertise, you know? Donde va a anunciar su producto, right? A venderlo. Well, will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customer? Esto. Y aquí está donde me imagino que tienen problemas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, good. In this case, you're going to copy, let me see, two point. Permite, 2.14, right? 2.14. Number one and number four. Number one and number four. For yes. me, four. Okay, number one. Uh, you're going to, co this is an adjective or a noun? And it's now. an adjective. It's an, an adjective. adjective, right? It's an adjective. Good. So the adjective goes before the enough or after enough? Before. Before, before, before. enough. Before mm -hmm. the, the adjective, right? Entonces ahí tiene la respuesta. Eh, yes, teacher, but no accept the platform. No accept. Uh -huh. Sí, sale That's mala. No accept. Ok, entonces denme un segundo. Ya, ya me salió. Ya. You, you don't have to put the entire sentence. Only the two case. words. Es que solo mm -hmm. tienen que poner las dos palabras ah. aquí. Not the entire sentence. Ah, the no me Read the expression. Is it blah, 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 blah? No, esto no lo tiene que poner. Solo, oh. solo tiene ah, que poner el adjetivo y enough. Y toda la tarde he pasado yo con esto. No, yo también. <risa> yo también, <risa> pero. Desde pero no de veníamos mañana, poniendo. <risa> veníamos poniendo primero el enough, entonces yo ponía el enough en todo, pero ahora ya le di vuelta y no. ya me salieron bien. Thank you. Hasta me puse a ver unos videos en YouTube para entender y yo dije, ¿qué, qué he entendido más? Hasta le dio vuelta a la computadora. Sí, ¿no? de todo. <risa> ok, so, so in this case, the adjective and then enough, right? No les puedo poner la respuesta porque... Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ok. The same here, right? People is noun or, or adjective? Noun. People is noun. noun. So, and no goes before or after? Before. Uh, after. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, no, wait. Oh. Wait, wait. Uh, no, wait. no, 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 before. 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 before, yes. I'm asking about no. Es que no, no estoy preguntando el nombre. Estoy preguntando la palabra no. Yes. Yeah. Okay, in number one, the enough goes after the adjective, right? Mm -hmm. And in the noun, the word enough goes before the noun, okay? Yeah. Esa es la simple fórmula. Si ya se la aprendieron, todo le va a ir bueno, okay? Okay. Good. But the mis mi my mistake is write right all sentences. Okay, in, in the different order, right? Now, mm -hmm. number three, test. Test is a noun or an adjective? A noun. It's no. a noun. It's a test. noun, right? Strong. It's a noun. Strong is an adjective. Mm -hmm. For example, one example of strong, the teacher, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> strong. So it's an adjective. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, sugar, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. <laughs> Sugar is what? Is a noun or an adjective? Noun. No. It's a noun, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the yeah. answer. Solo dígame si le salió bueno. Sí, teacher. Yes. For me. Sir. Thank you. Excelente. Also. OK, ya nos pasamos. Ya voy a pasar la asistencia rapidito, OK? Uh, Trini? Present. Good. Aminda? Present. Good. Ana Maria? Ana Maria? Present teacher. Good. Sorry, I'm here. Good. Don't go, Ana Maria. Remember, we have the 10 extra minutes. <laughs> Carlos? Present. Claudia Guadalupe? Domingo? 
Yes, Claudia. Present. Ya vimos el mensaje. Okay. Thank you, Domingo. Ever. Present. Good. Jose, Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Carla Benacir. Uh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Leticia. Present teacher. Mariano. Present teacher. Oscar. I'm here. Good. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present teacher. Sonia Ivet. Present. Vanessa. Noemi. Present. Walter Omar. Walter Omar. Wendy. Present. Good. Chamba. Chamba. Debbie. Present. Jorge. Present. Ok, welcome, Jorge. Eh, no le apareció lo de la plataforma, Jorge, porque me dijo no. el coordinador que le lo iba a agregar. No, no? estoy intentando. No, va. No. Voy a volver a mandar otro mensaje mañana, oiga, porque eh, no sé qué habrá pasado, pero nuevamente vamos a insistir porque tiene que terminar ese trabajo para pasar el curso, ¿verdad? Ok, sí. let's see. Now, Thank you. Um, ok, let's continue, right? Esa era la última, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a pasar, let's go, let's go to, the, to the test, right? Ok, that, that was the last one. Ok, good. So that was the last one. Now, let's go to the test. And some exercises are similar, so yes, don't worry about that. Now, midterm test, four questions. Ready? Here we go. First one, part number one. Okay, there is a mistake. Aquí hay un error. Entre la 1 y la 3 están equivocados. La 1 y la 3 están equivocados. Están intercambiados. ¿Sí? Pero como la plataforma está así, hay que contestar incorrecto. ¿Sí? Ok. So, the concept the concept number one is decline. En la 1, la respuesta correcta es decline. Esta es la respuesta correcta, ¿sí? Pero la plataforma se ha equivocado, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros vamos a poner este, maturity. Pero repito, no es maturity. Es solo un error de la plataforma. Pero para que le salga bueno, por favor pongan maturity. Y en la 3 es lo contrario. La respuesta es maturity, pero la plataforma lo acepta como decline. Así que ustedes pongan decline. Aunque saben que está incorrecto, pero es decline. Y en la dos, aquí si la respuesta está correcta, escojan la que es correcta. Ok. ¿Understand? ¿Entendimos? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, good. Let's continue. Voy a silenciar un ratito porque hay un sonido ahí. Ok, good. Let's continue. Now, number, next one, number four. Uh, this was very difficult when we made it, right? Cuando lo hicimos, estaba bien difícil. Uh, ¿Alguno tuvo problema en, en estos dos? In the number four, I have problem. Number four, you have problem. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Let me see. ¿Cómo podemos hacer? Les voy, a, les voy a dar una, como dijéramos, eh, la forma más apropiada de hacerlo, pero le voy a cambiar una palabra para, para que no, uh -huh. no se vea que estoy dando la respuesta. Ok. Sería The Manager, Capital Error, comenzamos con Capital Error, The Manager, eh, Wood Brother, Would rather. Ok, y luego va el verbo. 
Eh, le voy a cambiar el verbo. Le voy a poner que es otro verbo, ¿verdad? Le voy a poner eh, question. No, no. Eh, let me see. ¿Qué, ¿Qué palabra voy a poner aquí? Rather. Okay. Eh, give. Le vamos a poner give, ¿verdad? Pero ya saben cuál es el verbo. Ok. Would rather give eh, the creative the creative team the creative team to design to design a relaunch relaunch y ahí lo demás pues ya lo saben eh, con punto y final ¿verdad? ok eh, Rosibel está en la let plataforma me, Rosibel me. Yes, teacher. Yes. No, please try. And tell me if it yeah. is okay, right? Tell me if it's it is okay. It's okay, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Anybody else? Number yeah. four? Thank you. Nobody else? Okay. Eh, en las cinco tengo que aclarar también. Van a disculpar que... Eh, que ponga en evidencia esta situación. Pero voy a darle la respuesta porque está mala la respuesta. Entonces tenemos que contestar lo malo para que, para que nos salga bueno, ¿sí me entienden? Ok, entonces la, la respuesta sería, many distributors, many distributors, would rather much, would rather much, ok. Eh, sell or product sell or product at a lower price at a lower price ok, muy bien esa es la respuesta correcta digo, la respuesta que, que acepta la plataforma pero ustedes saben que en la teoría que vimos, right en lugar de decir rather much, lo correcto es much rather. Mm, Esto es lo correcto, sí. miren. Much mm. rather. ¿Sí? Esta es la respuesta correcta. Por favor, tómenlo en cuenta por, porque no vayan a usar, no se van a, a, a acostumbrar a usarlo de la forma incorrecta. Pero en la plataforma, el much lo van a poner después del rather. Uh -huh. Repito, aunque ustedes sepan que está incorrecto. Pero como así lo acepta la plataforma. Yes? Understand? Este yes. rather, much, es al revés. No es así. ¿ve? Sino que es much rather, ¿sí? Uh, si quieren saberlo, eh, pues les voy a decir la página en el manual. Ok, give me a second, give me a second here. Uh, yes, page number 13. I'm going to give you one example in the, in the book. It says, uh, We would much rather lower our price. Ahí está la respuesta. Aquí está en page number 23. So it's much rather. Much rather, right? Pero nosotros vamos a ponerlo así como está aquí, aunque sab sabemos que está incorrecto, ¿sí? Do you understand? Any yes. question? Good. Tengo un mensaje en el chat. Oh. I understand, Walter. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Walter. No, no problem, no problem. Okay, next one. Teacher, teacher yes. Yes, in Domingo. Number, in number five, is, you, is, is would rather much. Así es, correcto. Would rather much, sí. Así lo van a poner, Domingo. Pero Ajá, usted sabe pero que ahí. no es así. Lo correcto es would much rather. Sí entiende, Domingo, lo que quiero decir. Sí. 
yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, you okay, understand. Yes. Okay, good. But you, oh, you oh. copy here, would rather much. Like this. Copielo así, aunque esté incorrecto, pero copielo así. Okay, now, let's go to number part number two, right? So, uh, here again, vocabulary, right? Esto lo vimos en clase, se lo envié en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y aquí solo tienen que escoger una respuesta. Yes. Things that do not cost much. What is that? Co-branding, innovation, discontinuation, repackaging, lower prices. Breaking off, an interruption. What is that? Lower prices, repackaging, discontinuation, innovation, or co-branding, right? Inventory. Esto ya estaba anteriormente en, ¿verdad? Pero aquí lo repite el examen, miren. Aquí lo vuelve a repetir, ¿sí? Any question about vocabulary? Esta parte está fácil, siento yo. Solo vean su, su manual, lo que trabajamos, y ahí van a encontrar la respuesta. Good. Then again, right? Se repito otra vez este ejercicio, again. Uh, remember the same hint, right? The same hint is uh, when it's an adjective, right? Adjective, enough. When it's a noun, enough, enough. noun. Enough, noun, right? Mm -hmm. Again, look, two spaces. El mismo ejercicio que hicimos allá en la parte de la unidad 2 está aquí. Igual acá, miren. What is the correct question, right? Aquí está fácil porque no escribe ni punto ni nada, ¿verdad? Ni, ni apóstrofe ni tilde, ¿no? Que ahí está todo, ¿sí? Ok. Good. Any question? No. No. Okay. Let's go to the last part, right? Good. Nuevamente hay que escribir. Uh, complete the sentences using the information in parentheses. Ya, ya vimos cuál es la respuesta correcta, ¿verdad? Aquí, déjeme ver si acepta dos opciones o toda la oración. Déjeme ver. Part number four, right? Eh, Number yes. one, two, three. Ok, aquí tiene que poner toda la respuesta. Toda la oración. Mm. Según lo que tengo yo aquí en mi, en mi plataforma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Toda la respuesta. Yeah, number two, tiene eh, que number poner two, the play strategy. Number two es el mismo problema. Strategy. Y ahí le ponen la, lo demás, ¿verdad? No me lo puedo dar la respuesta, pero tiene que ponerlo todo y con punto al final. Prueben, por favor, y me dicen si sale bien. Ok, good. En four, four and, and five, only two, right? Aquí sí, en la cuatro y en la cinco, nuevamente solo van a poner dos palabras. No pongan toda la oración, así como lo hicimos. Exactamente como lo hicimos en la unidad 2, igual en el examen, ¿sí? Solo dos palabras. Aquí completa de la 1 a la 3, todito van a ponerlo. Y en la 4 y la 5, solo dos palabras. ¿Yes? Como lo habíamos hecho anteriormente. ¿Yes? Ok. ¿Any question? Do you have any question? And number two is correct. It's correct for you. Sí, es como yeah, lo hicimos okay. anteriormente. It's yeah, exactly nice. like the, like the And now, si no, que agree. Great, great. Uh -huh. Great, I agree. Uh -huh. Ahí la palabra mágica era great. Esta, great. Que no entiendo por qué. Por qué va la palabra ahí, pero ustedes ahí pongan, ¿ok? Otro que no entiende, Dudley. Aquí está Dudley, que no entiende. 
hasta le duele la cabeza porque aparecen tantas palabras ahí que. Ok, good. No more questions? Now, so I have some activities for you tonight. We finish this. And I'm going to share one exercise here, right? What time is it? Oh, yes, we have time. We have time to work. Okay, give me a second. Okay, here we are, right? It says, listen, listen to two people discuss an article about loss. Layer, right? Loss. In different places. Match the topic to the place. Aha, uh -huh. okay, let me see. A little bit more. Yes, okay, good. So, uh, we have six topics. Smiling, <laughs> smiling. Chewing gum, chewing gum, mascando chicle, right? Stealing. Mañosear. Hospitals, pigeons, son um, eh, pichones, you know, palomas, you know, and carrying money, llevar, llevar pisto, llevar dinero, right? So, what we're going to do is that these topics are related with these places, Singapore, Kenya, San Francisco. This is not San Francisco, Chinameca, it's San Francisco in in United States, right? in Milan, in Italy, right? So, what is permitted and what is not permitted in these places, right? Listen, please. Units 13 to 14, progress check. Page 99, exercise three, listening. Unusual laws around the world, part A. Listen to two people discuss an article about laws at different places. Match the topic to the place. There are two extra topics. One. You know, this article about strange international laws is fascinating. Oh yeah? Let's hear some. For example, take Singapore. You aren't allowed to chew gum on the metro there. And chewing gum in general is hard to find in Singapore. I think I like that. It's so annoying when you step on old chewing gum. I bet the city is a lot cleaner. Two. Oh, here's another one. In Kenya, you can't walk around without money. Hmm, so you always have to carry some cash? Yes, according to this, the logic is that if you don't have money, then you want to steal. Interesting. I wonder if an ATM card is accepted. Good question. Three. Anything about the US? I haven't found anything yet, but I'm sure there are lots of odd laws. I know in San Francisco, California, you aren't allowed to feed pigeons. You can't feed those birds? They're everywhere there. I think that's the problem. The government says pigeons are birds that damage property and have diseases. Four. And here's a strange one from Italy. Oh, yeah? In the city of Milan, you have to smile. Are you serious? That's a law? They say you can only look sad at a funeral or a hospital. How bizarre. Okay, you got it? Or do you want me to play it again? Again? Okay, good. Units 13, units 13 to round the world. Part A. Listen to two people discuss an article about laws in different places. Match the topic to the place. There are two extra topics. 
What? You know, this article about strange international laws is fascinating. Oh yeah? Let's hear some. For example, take Singapore. You aren't allowed to chew gum on the metro there. And chewing gum in general is hard to find in Singapore. I think I like that. It's so annoying when you step on old chewing gum. I bet the city is a lot cleaner. Good. Number one, Singapore, please. What is the topic? A, B, C, D, E, or F? Chewing gum. Little B. Little B. Chewing gum. Little B. Chewing gum, right? I mean, even I don't like that because it's some people, you know, they're speaking, you know, and they're chewing gum. In baseball, it's acceptable, but in Singapore, especially in the metro, right? No, you cannot do that, right? Good. Let's go to the next one. Kenya. Two. Oh, here's another one. In Kenya, you can't walk around without money. Hmm. So you always have to carry some cash? Yes. According to this, the logic is that if you don't have money, then you want to steal. Interesting. I wonder if an ATM card is accepted. Good question. Good. So what letter is for Kenya? Letter F. Letter F. 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 Letter F. Carry money. Carry money. Even a quarter. <laughs> but you have to have some money, right? Because if not, they're going to say you are mañoso because you don't have money, right? And you're stealing money. <laughs> okay, anyways, it's, it's a law, right? It's a crazy law. Now, San Francisco, California, right? Three. Anything about the U.S.? I haven't found anything yet but I'm sure there are lots of odd laws. I know in San Francisco, California, you aren't allowed to feed pigeons. You can't feed those birds? They're everywhere there. I think that's the problem. The government says pigeons are birds that damage property and have diseases. So San Francisco, mm -hmm. letter? C. E. Letter E. E, e, right? e, 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 if you e, don't e. believe me, go to uh, Plaza Gerardo Barrio, right? You know what I mean. A lot of pigeons, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And the last one, Milan, Italy. The... Four. Gelato. And here's a strange one from Italy. Oh, yeah? In the city of Milan, you have to smile. Are you serious? That's a law? They say you can only look sad at a funeral or a hospital. How bizarre. Okay. If you're in a funeral, don't worry. You, this law is, is not used. Liz. Right? It's not you, sorry. So now, Milan, A, B, C, D, E, or F? A, smiling. Smile, right? I, well, in the past, El Salvador was known okay. by the word smile, you know, it's the country of the smile, they say, right? But these days, I guess, after the war, after the civil war, and after the, the gangs and criminal situation in our country, we're not known for that. But I would like, if I were the president, I establish a law that everybody has to smile on the street, <laughs> okay? Because when you smile, even you have problems, uh, the, the problems goes down, right? The problems go down, sorry. So having a, a positive attitude, smiling can help you, at least to support your problem, right? Todos tenemos problemas, pero si tenemos una actitud positiva, vamos a sufrir menos, right? Good. Now let's go to the next exercise. Here we're going to learn about some stories, some interesting stories, right? About honesty. Stories about honesty here, right? Okay. I will read for you, right? And then we're going to discuss together. Just give me a second. I'm gonna do something here. Yes, okay, good. Florida mom caught being honest. Fue atrapada, right? Siendo honesta. So caught being honest. 
Nancy Bloom was caught on the security camera entering a convenience store, you know, like, like the one we have in Texaco, Uno, uh, Puma, et cetera, et cetera, convenience store, right? While the owner was out to lunch, the door was unlocked. So Nancy walked in with her son. He's the son of, the, of Nancy, right? Okay. And picked up some ice cream and left the money on the counter. Okay, she's very honest because maybe she can get the, the ice cream or other products without paying, right? But she decided to pay. Next story says, honesty is it is its own. Give me a second. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, honesty is its own reward, right? La única recompensa que obtuvo es su honestidad. So it says, after driving for 20 miles to return a wallet lost in the in a park, Kate Moore gets only a, a half. Okay, give me a second. Okay, a half party. Ah, uh, oh, thanks. Can you imagine? Just she received the wallet and said, oh, thanks. Ni cuenta me había dado. I said, okay, no, oh, thanks. Good, then uh, the, the next. Homeless man finds $40,000. Ooh, ooh. And turns it in, right? Lo regresó. When Tom Hart found a backpack full of cash, he didn't think twice. He took it straight to the police. After reading Tom's story, a stranger started a fundraising campaign for Tom that has already raised over $60,000. Oh, you know, this is the regard to being honest, right? Good. And then I have some questions. Three questions here, right? Uh, Aminda, have you heard any stories like this? Yes or no? Mm, no. No. In El Salvador, never. No, I think no. In El Salvador, that, that never occurs or happened, that situation. Okay. Even in the in a store, someone that said, ah, me dio mucho cambio. Oh, listen, this, excuse me, this $10 are yours? No, never. Um, in some, in some case, okay, good. May, may, maybe, maybe you can pay something in, in the cashier uh, was a, a, a mistake and that's very common. Give. Yeah. Okay, good. Jose Roberto, have you ever found anything valuable, Jose Roberto? Like a wallet, like a ring, like a cell phone, like one so million teacher, dollars. <laughs> I, I can hear you clearly. Okay. This is the question, Jose Roberto. Have you ever found anything valuable? Have you ever found anything valuable, Jose Roberto? Yes or no? Uh, well, one the one time, yes, I found around uh, forty-five uh, dollars in in a place. Okay. <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> Good. Did Did you return the money? No, no it weren't. But it's. Wow. That is the problem, yes, because you don't know. I mean, if you say someone, hey, listen, these are this is your money. Yes, yes, it's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. In in the case of money, right? Uh, one day, listen. <laughs> That's money. That's uh, mine. With money is a problem. Uh, one day I found a wallet, no money, but 
there was a telephone and I called the person and it comes that it was my neighbor, my neighbor. And he said, oh, thank you. He didn't give me a reward, but I was happy to help, you know? Okay. But what about this, Rosibel? Do you think that people who return things should get a reward? Yes or no? Um, in some case, yes, but in another case, no. Not all the time, right? Give me one example. <laughs> Imagine someone does something extraordinary for you, right? Like returning your cat or, or returning yourself or something like that, right? Uh, would you give a reward, Rosibel? To that uh, person? Uh, yes, yes. Let's say, yes. do you have cats and dogs, Rosibel? Yes, I have dogs. Dogs? And dog. Okay, what's, what's his name? It's Blackie. Okay, Blackie, Blackie. Mm -hmm. Okay, Blackie is lost. Blackie, where is Blackie? I can't find Blackie, he's lost, my dog is lost. And then Pedro Lopez comes with the, your hey, lady, here's your dog. How much would you give Pedro Lopez for, for your dog? <laughs> um, it's, well, I, 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 the, the value is, is, is complicated, but the, when the person uh, found anything, Value for 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 me, mm -hmm. I maybe I I think in one bar one bar is mm, can be tw uh, 20 20 dollars. Twenty dollars is acceptable. Yes, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I listen, Rosibel. I was thinking in my dog polar, you know, and <laughs> and, and I say, yeah, we'll give twenty dollars. Yes. It's acceptable, yeah. right? Okay, good. Thank you. But as you said, not all the time, right? Not all the time. In fact, we don't expect uh, something. We have to give. Uh, we have to make good things, right? Not expecting uh, money or or something else, right? Because you know, someone up, upstairs, right, is watching you. El colocho lo está viendo, yeah. you know. It's, <laughs> so he knows. Yes. He knows. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to go to a conversation. And we're going to practice this conversation. Oh, just give me a second here. Okay, good. So listen to the conversation, please. Unit 15. I wouldn't have done that. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. What would you do? Part A, listen and practice. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm. You've got a point there. Good. Let's practice. I'm going to ask two or four students to practice this conversation, right? Please. Listen and repeat. Please turn off your microphones and repeat. Look at this. Come on, repeat. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back. 
He gave it, gave it, he gave it all back. Every single penny. You're kidding. If I found for $40,000, I wouldn't return it. Wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Would, what would you do with it? Well, I spend it, spend it. I could buy a new car, could, could. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation, vacation. The real owner might find out about it. Owner might find out, find out about it, about it. The real owner might find out about it. Though. The real owner might find out about it though. And then you could go to Mariona, I'm sorry, to jail. And then you could go to jail. Hmm. Everybody repeat please. Hmm. You got a point here. Good. Now, two students are going to help me with this conversation before we finish the class, right? Uh, it's going to be Leticia and Jorge Alfredo. Ready? Jorge, are you there? Please help me. You're going to be John. And Leti, you're going to be Mia. Okay. Look. Look at this uh, MLS GUI phone, a uh, bulk pump with a uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40,000. Inside, right? Leticia? Inside, sorry. Okay, Leticia? Present teacher. And what? Come on, Leticia, we're in the conversation. <laughs> and what did you he do? Say, please, repeat. And what? Really? What would you do with it? And what did he do? Okay, good. Jorge, please. He? He took it to the police. He, ha he, ga he, give he gave it. it. He gave it. He gave it. He gave it at back every single uh, penny. Leticia? Okay, you're kidding. If I have found 50. 40, no, 40,000, 40,000. 40,000, I wouldn't return it, I'll get it. Really, what would you do with it, do, do with it, with it? Uh-huh, you do with it. 
you do well, with it? Well, I spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner my fin out find out about. find out Pardon? find out find out mm -hmm. about it um do do and uh, you could could go to hide mm, you got a point there good leticia i like your pronunciation mm. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So uh, we'll take the attendance and then you can go to sleep. Agarrar su osito y a dormir bajo esta lluvia, okay? Now, uh, Trini. Present. Good. Have a good night, Trini. Aminda. Present. Ana Maria. Present. Good. Me espera, Ana Maria. Carlos. Yes. Present, good night. Good. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Domingo. Ever. Present, teacher. Good. José Roberto. Carla Vanessa. Present, teacher. Ah, good, good. Eh, Jose, Jose Roberto, right? Uh -huh. and, and then Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Dos a uno ganamos, ¿verdad, Carlita? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. Eh, Leticia. Present, teacher. Good. Have a good night. Mariano. Mariano. Present, teacher. Okay, Present, good. teacher. Have a good night, Mariano. Oscar. Oscar, Arnulfo. Bueno, le vamos a tomar la asistencia porque ahí ha estado toda la clase. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Have a good night, Rosibel. Present. Sonny Beth. Present. Present. Uh, Oscar, right? Oscar. Yes. Yes. Good, yes. Good. good night. Thank you, Oscar. Good night. Good night. Good night. Present teacher. Uh, yes. Who said present? Yes. Ya me perdí. Uh, Mariano, no. Oscar. Domingo. ¿Qué, qué, qué decís? Ah, domingo. Domingo. Ah. Eh, ¿Qué? Oh, domingo. Se me había quedado, ¿verdad? Pero ya le había puesto sí, asistencia. Uh, no hay problema, Domingo. Usted, okay. usted siempre está ahí presente. Ok. Thank you. Have a good night, Domingo. Now. Oh, good night, teacher. Ok. Sonia y Beth. Y Beth. Bueno, vamos a poner asistencia porque ahí estaba participando. Vanessa. Present. Good. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Walter. Present. Ok, Present. good. Resolvió el problema del internet, ¿verdad? Le estaba fallando, ¿verdad, Walter? Sí. Yes, ah, yes. Good. Good. Good, night. good. Have a good night, Walter. Wendy. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Chamba. Ok, vamos a ver si Chamba se logró conectar. No, verdad, no se logró conectar. Sorry, Chamba. Present, mister. Oh, good. Thank you. Es que solo estaba de oyente ahora, verdad, Chamba? Ok, aquí estamos. Yes. Yes, yeah, mister. Ok, good. Have a good night. Thank Debbie? you, Mr. Okay. Good. good. Thank you, Debbie. Have a good night. Jorge? Good night. Good night. Jorge? Good. Have a good night. Eh, mañana voy a empezar al revés, Jorge. Oiga, para que no quede último. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Ana Maria. How are you, Ana Maria? Okay, you you were working, Ana Maria. Es que la semana pasada, como estaba en inventarios fiscales, 
o sea, a mí me toca cubrir, o sea, las tiendas. Termino, voy terminando viernes a la noche. Oh, sorry to hear that, pero eso de, <risa> o, o sea que usted, uh, you are an accountant, Ana María. ¿Usted es contadora? No, yo ah. monitoreo todas las tiendas de franquicias de Simán, las europeas. Mm. Ah, eh, a ver, entonces eh, hemos tenido inventarios desde la semana pasada. Entonces siempre paso con ellos y, o sea, mis horarios generalmente son de oficina, pero obviamente cuando ya están estas actividades, pues no siempre, porque los inventarios comienzan hasta que se cierran las tiendas. Ok, I understand. So, and sorry for that because I, I want you participating in my classes, but thank you for making the effort, right, to, to stay. When you're not sí, working sí, to stay. Sí, a veces sí trato de, de, de conectar y a veces lo que hago es grabar la, la clase. Ok. And I also sí. send the, the, the PowerPoint presentations to. La, las mira las presentaciones también en el grupo, Ana María. Fíjese que solo he descargado unas. Okay. Y yo creo que tampoco le cayó mi presentación de la, bueno, la que hice de las four pieces. Ah, con el truco que estaba, creo que no. Nunca yo, no. Solo la de Honey, la de Honey B, no sé cuál era. Sí. Solo, solo una cayó, pero bien igual. Yo sé que usted trabaja también en el grupo cuando está participando. Así que, thank you, thank you for, for your effort. Okay? Gracias por su esfuerzo. Okay. Eh, ¿hay algún, Ana María, ¿hay algún okay. tema? Que, que usted le gustaría repasar ahorita ¿Algo sí, es que... el, el, el único que yo creo que sí todavía como que no he logrado es el de no pero no. ajá okay. estoy leyendo la bueno creo que mandó una en el grupo sí eh, eh, sí eh, son dos presentaciones Ana María es, es una con adjetivos y las otras es con nombre okay. eh, quisiera la de los adjetivos los nombres o ambas Fíjense que es la del adjetivo realmente. Ah, ok, va. Entonces le, le voy a poner la presentación y lo discutimos juntos. Ok, regálame un sí. segundito. Aquí vamos a, vamos a abrir el, el archivo. Sí. Teacher, ¿y de la unidad 2 hasta cuándo tenemos para entregárselo? Los ejercicios de unidad 2. Eh, la unidad 2 era hasta la hasta el ejercicio 4, que era 2.14. No, 2.14. Ah, uh -huh. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Hasta ahí vamos a terminar, ¿sí? Ok. ¿Ya lo terminó usted o...? No, le tengo que trabajar esa semana. Sí, creo que la unidad 1 fue de las últimas que se le envié. No me acuerdo si fue el viernes o el lunes. ¿Qué dijo ahora? Bueno, eh, no. Hoy estamos miércoles. Eh, uh -huh. Pero si usted tiene una duda, cualquier duda, mándeme ahí en el WhatsApp y ahí estamos para... Para ayudarle, oiga. Sí, eh, si gusta, a mí me ayuda mucho el material de, de lectura. Creo que se me facilita incluso más, porque a veces con los videos, mira, que la retentiva me, me cuesta más, pero de lectura eso sí me ayuda muchísimo más. ¿Y tiene el manual? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, va, entonces ahí está. Eh, sí. Le voy a recomendar, Ana María, este, ¿a usted le gusta leer? Sí. Ah, bueno, entonces en YouTube hay audiolibros, audiobooks. Ok. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, está de los más sencillos, como el de, de Little Prince, el, el principito. Ah, exacto, mi principito. Ese, yo lo descargué, de hecho, ¿sabe? Cuando en inglés. Uh -huh. mm, Excelente, very good. Sí, Pero hay, sí. hay libros un poquito más, más extensos, como de, de, uh -huh. de superación. Uh -huh. En fin, hay de todo ahí en, en, en YouTube. Lo voy a buscar. Sí, y también, por si quiere meterse en un sitio en internet, está el, el Agenda Web. No sé si ha trabajado alguna vez en la Agenda Web. No, señor. Si no, me no, vale. puede brindar el link. Ahí vale, se, se lo voy a mandar. Sí, no hay problema. ¿Cómo aparece ahí en el grupo? Eh, pues no me he puesto nombre, creo que solo sé como Ana Palacios. Si no Ana Palacios, vaya, sí. este, solo deme los, los últimos dos dígitos del celular. 0245. Sorry. 0245. 45. 4-5 sí. son los últimos dos. Va, ok. 0245. Es que le oigo un poquito de eco, Ana María, perdón. Eh, 
4 o 5. 4 o 5, los últimos dos. Ajá, 4 o 5, los últimos okay, dos. Ok, good, good. That's it. That's it. Ok. Sí. Y pues por ahí le vamos a enviar el material de lectura y el link también, oiga. Okay. Vaya, vaya. Permita, vamos a buscarle aquí el. Enough. Let's see. Um, creo que era la presentación 12. Creo que fue la, la, la 13 era. The presentation 13, right? Vamos a ver. Sí, aquí está. Ok. Ahorita se la comparto, Ana María. Y me aseco. ¿Y la cámara le funciona, Ana María? Sí, ese de que me cambiaron de compu hace poco, me ah. la actualizaron y no tengo acceso. ¿Cómo es la de ah. trabajo? Verdad? Ah, ok. Vaya, pues, pero cuando tenga acceso, pues ahí nos comparte la cámara también. Oiga. Ok. Here we are, Ana María. Look. Uh -huh. I will, this is the part of the, of the book, right, of the manual. Okay. So it says, a novice is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective, right? Mm -hmm. So we said, the company, ah, no, 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 aquí me equivoqué, entonces le puse el otro. Este es, este es el otro, ajá, este es el de los nouns, pero igual, vamos a, este es el último, sí. Por ejemplo, aquí, eh, Solo voy a poner este ejemplo nada más y, y me regreso. Creo que entonces ha de ser como la, la nueve, algo así. De ese. Ya la vamos a buscar, ok. They, they need enough time to do the homework. Este contexto es afirmativo, Ana María. Miren, ellos necesitan suficiente tiempo para hacer la tarea. They need enough time, ¿sí? Pero podemos usarlo en el contexto negativo, ¿verdad? Eh, the neighbor, vamos a ver uno negativo aquí. Aquí sería, uh, en la número cuatro, mire. There are a lot of cars, hay muchos carros en la colonia, ¿ok? We don't have, no tenemos, we don't have enough parking. Enough parking. No hay lo suficiente. Entonces, el contexto sería, ¿hay suficiente o no hay suficiente eh, dinero, parqueo, policías? Es como de, de una cantidad de Ajá, es como decir que alcanza o no alcanza algo, ¿sí? Okay. Dependiendo del contexto en que lo utilice. Permítame que no, no quiero quedar mal con ustedes. Abrir el, el, el archivo correcto, permítame. No es posible que no, no lo encuentre. Eh... Analyze a national product. Ah, no lo encuentro. Permítame, lo buscar en el manual. En el manual lo tengo. Registrado. Quédale unos segunditos. Aquí estamos. No. Puede ser que no lo encuentre. Aquí está, es el de los primeros. Yes. Uh -huh. le dice, no, no, no es este. Ana María, le voy a quedar mal, no lo encuentro. <ríe> y me hace... No, pero este quiero ver. Es que no, que se, te lo voy, se lo voy a compartir también, pero eh, how to, aquí está. Es la, la número 10, es number 10. Aquí está. Number 10, yes, aquí está. Mira. Pero igual se la vamos a compartir, oiga. Ok, sí, sí. Sí, sí, vaya, permítame. Ahí estamos, hoy sí. Y es lo que dice el manual, ¿verdad? Um, Let me see. Good. Uh, enough is an adverb that means to the necessary degree, lo, lo, lo suficiente para algo, ¿no? Okay. So let me say, um, the, the look of our online course 
from page is not professional enough. So the adjective goes before. Aquí el adjetivo va antes del enough. Entonces, es no, en español lo decimos al revés, ¿verdad? No es lo, lo suficientemente profesional. No, no es lo suficientemente amigable. No es lo suficientemente competitivo. O es. Bueno. Podría ser lo, lo al revés, afirmativo. Por ejemplo, dices, or after sales services are good enough. Entonces quiere decir que son lo suficientemente buenos. ¿Sí? Y aquí sí. es, el, el, lo puse en, en la fórmula, ¿verdad? Que es. Ah, esa, uh -huh. Aquí, ahí se lo voy a mandar y ahí lo ve usted lentamente. My product is good enough. Entonces, primero va el adjetivo y luego va la palabra enough. Uh -huh. um, en negativo, pues, se usa el verbo to be, isn't, aren't, o si es en presente uh -huh. simple, don't o doesn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y luego el adjetivo y luego enough. Eh, también, uh, si usted quiere explicar un poquito más la idea, Ana María, puede usar un infinitivo al final, mire. My product is good enough to sell. Mi, mi producto es lo suficientemente bueno como para venderse. Ok. Ajá, entonces, eh, si quiere, ¿va? usted le agrega una información extra. Okay. Mm, esto no es necesario, pero... Uh -huh. Es como para enfatizar más el adjetivo y el suficiente. Y el enough, right? Que es lo más esencial, ¿sí? good enough. Okay. Y si se da cuenta, pues en inglés hay, hay situaciones como la edad, como como los adjetivos en general que se usan al revés, pues, como lo usamos en sí. español. ¿no? Y aquí es sí. otro caso, ¿no? En lugar de decir suficientemente bueno, decimos bueno suficientemente. Bueno suficiente. <risa> sí. Ok. Um, bueno, y aparte de, de la recomendación de los, de los audiobooks, Ana María, también le recomiendo, eh, no sé si tiene Netflix. Sí. Bueno, entonces... Si usted de verdad quiere aprender inglés, pues le recomiendo ver una película semanal eh, okay. de comedia, aunque no, no la vea toda de un solo, pues por partes, puede ser uh -huh. uh, una comedia, una, una película romántica o una de muñequitos, que son okay. de las películas en que se entiende mejor. Y para que lo entienda mejor y quiera seguir, darle gusto, pues al... Sentirle gusto a la película, ponga los subtítulos, pero en inglés. Ah, ok. Sí, esa es una forma, uh, se aprende como no tiene idea, ¿sí? Y por okay. último, la música, ¿verdad? Si se da cuenta, los jueves envío una canción al grupo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces ahí que usted le quede la costumbre también de, de ir a YouTube, ¿verdad? Y escuchar una canción que le guste y ponerle la letra para que eh, practique también. Okay. Está bien, gracias. Entonces, okay. tengo que ver todas las Ok, ¿any extra question, Ana María? Mm, no, today. No, ok. Pero cool. voy a pisar la tarea porque probablemente esto me salga muy tarde. Ok, so have a good night. Doodly saying good night too. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.